How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to review this Sima X400 drone. It comes with two batteries and each one will last six and a half minutes. However, you can't really indefinitely fly because each one takes 90 minutes to charge. When I first started to learn how to fly drones, Sima was the brand for the small size quadcopters. They've been around for a long time and to me, they are very reliable. They tend to have a lot of replacement parts that you can buy so you can make sure that it will last a long time. The drone itself, it's very durable so you can crash it quite a bit. Not to say if you have a really bad crash, it's not gonna break it or anything. You can break it still, but I'm just saying it tends to be more durable than other ones. This one is a little bit larger than the very tiny ones, which allows you to fly outside in car Calm winds. It includes the controller and yes, you can control it with the app. However, my preference is to use an actual controller because there's tactile feedback. On a phone, there's just a touch screen. Sometimes if you're flying for a long time, your controls tend to drift and you don't know where your fingers are unless you look down. This one has a 1080p camera. You can clip a cell phone to this, connect it to Wi-Fi, and then you can see what the drone is seeing through your phone. Let me go back and unbox this so you can see what's included. There's the battery, the camera, and you have to remove this to fly it. So this will let them know if you flew it, you can't return it. Instruction manual. This is a landing pad. Extra battery, extra set of propellers, and some guards so you can bump into stuff. Phone mount here, that removes by pushing it. Battery charger. If it's like this, it's not seated and it won't charge. So make sure it's seated in there. And you have an included screwdriver for the propellers. It says A right here. A in these two propellers diagonally and B in these two propellers. If it spins clockwise, you see how it's slanted this way? It means it's pushing air downwards. The B type spins counterclockwise. Slanted this way, it pushes the air downwards. So I removed all the tie wraps, put in the battery, turn it on. When it's blinking, it means it wants to pair with your controller. Four AA batteries is needed. Up, down, there we go. The drone does not come with the guard installed. If you want to put them on, remove the plastic cap, slide on the guard. It'll have two pins on either side that fits there and replace the cap. This will lock it in place. If you were to replace the blade, we use the included screwdriver, remove the propeller. It's a hexagonal pin to keep it from slipping. Put in your new propeller, put the screw back on, tighten it. Go easy on tightening because you don't want to strip the plastic inside. Each battery is encased in plastic so you can just push it in. There is a direction to it. The contacts face upwards. And if you look at the battery, it says up, push it in that way. Push and hold the button on the drone until it turns on. The back is green and the front is red. I actually wish they switched those because I'm normally used to seeing red lights on the back. Then we turn on the controller, move the throttle up, it beeps once, move the throttle down, it beeps once. Now it's locked into place. There's three ways to begin. Normally, like that. And if we wanna stop it, push and hold, push up and it starts. Push down and it stops. Automatic takeoff, just push this once and it'll start flying upwards. Pushing the automatic land, which is the same button as auto takeoff. If I push the top right button here, that's for flipping. Push and hold the trick button and then back. You can flip any which way, forward, back, left or right. So let's do a forward flip now. Push and hold, forward flip. Push and hold, left flip. Push and hold right flip. These are sort of pre-programmed trick moves. So if I push the right button down, it'll beep twice. Now it'll move a lot faster. See, left, full throttle left and right. Slow speed up and down. High speed up and down. Slow speed turn around. High speed turn around. If you are just practicing, you can try to land. Ooh. You might need to stick this down, otherwise the wind will blow it away. Let's try that again. Nope. 
my tape is not very good. These guards are very, very important. It will save you from having to buy a lot more propellers. And the propellers are not the only thing that breaks. If you crash them really hard, it will actually make the motors off-centered and the motors will actually break themselves. So having these propeller guards are actually super useful, especially as a beginner. And as you fly much better, you can take them off. It makes the craft a little bit lighter and it'll last a little bit longer. I'm gonna knock into the wall a little bit to show you what that looks like. So it just kind of bounces off if it's not too high speed. There's an app called Simafly and let's start that. Make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi of the drone. Mine says FPV underscore Wi-Fi underscore some numbers. I'm gonna select X400, start. And now it's seeing me through the camera. You can see on the app that, yeah, you can control it. Can't actually do the corner move to turn it on. You have to press the landing and takeoff button. Let's start a video recording. I wanna run you guys through how to calibrate this. Push the left control button and then go forward and then it will trim it to go forward a little bit. So the idea is to not have any momentum going anywhere and just see which way it drifts. Whichever way you drift, you wanna push the opposite way to trim that way. So it's drifting towards that corner right now, right? So I'm gonna push and hold the left throttle button and I pushed right just now. And let me do it again for going back. So you can get it to a pretty stable level where it'll just hover in place. Wow, that's a crash. Let's take this out and see what kind of video it can record outside in the sun. I'm recording straight from the drone and actually the wind is a little bit too much. Going full throttle one way, it's all I can do to keep it in one place. So not much room for maneuverability. It seems like we can see a, a turkey over there. Let's go check out the turkey. Slight error there. I actually couldn't see the direction of the drone, so I failed. Full throttle and it's staying in one spot. So pretty windy for this little guy. Whenever we do flips though, and we're recording at the same time, you can't see much. But let's see what happens if we go up higher. Okay. <laughs> crashed it into the tree. So it actually doesn't work very well outdoors because of the wind. One thing I noticed with the camera is that it's not gyroscope stabilized. So every little twitch of my control moves the entire video. So that's why you see it's like kind of twitchy whenever I adjust the movement of the flight. Okay, let's land, auto landing. I'd say this is more of an indoor drone, five, 10 mile an hour wind right now. However, I think it's fun for indoors. You can learn how to fly with this, especially it will be very durable if you use the guards. If you guys are interested in getting the Sima X400 drone, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.